Welcome back here to Up North at 4. Laura Paulskill joining us now from the Phillips Chamber of Commerce. And it's now officially fall, right? Like we have officially yes, first crossed day of off fall, summer. Nate. Yes, first so this day. So is, this is perfect timing <laughs> yes. because the Fall Harvest Festival in Phillips is coming up in a little over a week. I'm sure you guys are busy getting ready for that, I would imagine. You got it. We are <laughs> super busy with that. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's the 28th mm -hmm. Annual Fall Harvest Festival in Phillips. And they began it as a way to celebrate everything fall, appreciate those last few nice right, days right, that we've yeah. got going on before winter hits. Yeah. So we are hoping for some great weather and a wonderful turnout for this year's event. Absolutely. So what exactly would we expect in a, a festival like this? Well, it's a great day to take a ride over to Phillips. Nice. We have an arts and crafts fair right now. We have about 40 vendors signed up and there's still more coming in. So it's a nice, a nice thing to go out okay. and check that out. We block off all of Avon Avenue. So it's a, it's a pretty long and wide mm -hmm. block, um, plus Cherry Street. So we block that off for our art and craft vendors. We've got a food court, there's live music, we've got kids activities, all kinds of things. So no matter what your interest is, you can you find it. something to do at the Harvest got Festival. Got it all. So, so. Say the Fall Harvest Festival has the works, and including, yes. you guys said the big thing is you sell craisins. Yes. But not just any craisins. Oh, right? oh no, that's special. Okay. So okay, tell me part about of it is craisins. that um, there is a cranberry marsh in Phillips, mm -hmm. and that was one of the things that they wanted to celebrate when they first right, right. started this event. So we have fresh cranberries straight from the marsh in Ooh. Phillips that will be available. And then we also have our craisins. Love and it. I brought a little something special for <sighs> oh, you guys present. today. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> You're the best. At our booth for the Fall Harvest Festival, we have five not one, not two, not three, not four, but five, five. flavors of craisins. Right. So I would wow. like you guys to do a little taste test okay. today okay. and see which variety which the, of craisins is your favorite. Is the go-to. All yeah, right. All I, right. Have, wow. I have a personal favorite, but I will tell, right. you. So I will we'll, tell you later what that Conrad, is. Conrad, I think, which one do you have there? I got raspberry. Let's try it. Let's raspberry, start with let's that one. Let's try that start, one out. Let's start with the raspberry. Let's try it out. So... Are you, are you making these craisins, like flavoring them? How does this work? No, we get them from Ocean Spray, actually. Okay. And um, they they send us large boxes of craisins each year, and we get to pick what flavors we want to do. And then we, we rebag them as the chamber. So, so is there is any, any competition really with this? Um, any taste testing that you guys have going on? Not really. Not mm -hmm. really. It's just people, you need people know now that we'll I'll be there with <laughs> <laughs> Right? Um, people that just enjoy mm -hmm. having them for snacks or to put in things. And we've kind of developed a following now where people will come and go, well, what kind of craisins do you have this year? I want to put the them flavors, in my... Yeah. yeah, and what flavors do you have? And they okay. like to put them in baking. Um, someone I talked to said they like to put them in stuffing in place of raisins. So mm -hmm. anything that you have raisins in that you want to give a little extra tangy crunch, well, some, you, can put, you can put the craisins in there so I'm, and I'm, it's great. This one literally mm -hmm. just says craisins. That's the plain. Okay, this is yep. just regular. Non flavored. So that, just maybe this plain. will be like our uh, what do you what do you call that? Like our placebo. The baseline. Placebo. Kind of? Yeah, yeah. The control. <laughs> there you go. Control sample. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got strawberry here, Conrad. I'm gonna give you a couple of these. Very good flavors. I did wash, I did wash my hands, by the way, mm -hmm. so you're good. I, I will say raspberry so far, clear, clear, and clearing away the favorite. Yeah. Think we're on the same boat, Nate. Yeah. We're just thinking the same thing. Strawberry is good. Mm -hmm. I like that. We got one more here. So you said 28 years for this festival. Yeah. So rain or shine, or do you rain guys? Rain or shine. Rain or shine. Yeah. Love to so hear that. So if how many? If it's if it's drizzling, put on your raincoat, grab We're an umbrella it. up. There's plenty of space. Just well, come on out. I'll try and forecast something perfect for you <laughs> I guys. I like it. I like it. <laughs> so right. how many people are we expecting? Oh wow, we usually get a really nice turnout. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm thinking between 1,000 and 1,500 at least. Wow, and so, wow. and it's not just that area of town either. Our local businesses, Does the shops, everything. the bars, restaurants, all of them have specials, and they try to sometimes incorporate that cranberry flavor right, into their and, food. And, and so, it would be a nice chance to take a ride over to Phillips, mm -hmm. do some shopping, Absolutely. start that Christmas list because we know that's. On that its way next. And I was, I was just just gonna have a nice getaway. Absolutely. I'm going to say, though, we have to take a break, though. I will say, raspberry is my favorite. You? Same here. Raspberry. Oh. Same oh. the best. We'll chat more about this, though. We'll take a break here on Up North at 4. Connecting the Dots is next.